Well, the call in Matt Hasselbeck's ear was 17 power, as you see here, but I think we've all come to know Marshawn Lynch's 67-yard touchdown run as Beastquake. Now, what I want to do is two things. Number one, I want to draw the play up as it was drawn on the chalkboard for the guys to take a look at from an assignment perspective on how this should have been blocked. And then you're going to see, and I put little numbers by the guys who were the first tacklers on the scene, and how really, as far as getting a helmet on a helmet and blocking it, the execution was pretty poor. This was really all about number 24. So on paper, as they looked at this play, 17 power, and ideally the way you want to draw this up, and it can change a little bit based on the front, based on the coverage, and I'm not going to act like I know exactly every one of the calls, but, but the basics of the 17 power play. Hasselbeck comes to the line, and right away he sees the front, and it's an under front. An under or a 25 front means that the strength is away, the 2D tackles, the tackle away from the tight ends and a 1 technique and a 3 technique. So they line up in an under and they bring their strong safety, Roman Harper, who had a miserable day. They bring him down near the line of scrimmage to really force an 8-man front. So Hasselback motions Obamanu over and he comes in motion as he does. Harper comes down and they ended up getting a helmet on a helmet and Ben Obamana did a nice job. John Carlson, likewise, kicks out on a linebacker. A difficult block, as you're going to see as the play goes on, on a slow-developing play to have your tight end and your tackle, Okung, manned up for this long was difficult to do, but those two guys were both fairly effective, so they took a helmet on a helmet. The power play is going to include Columbus and Spencer. Now, this is what they should have done. Those two getting a helmet and then you get onto the linebacker with a two-on-one and a one technique. Pretty good matchup for you. You want a Locklear to come down in a very difficult backside cutoff on that tackle. You're going to leave the end free. He's got outside contain. And then you're going to pull Gibby around. And he's going to go, come around after Robinson comes in and takes care of the linebacker. So technically on paper, it's not bad. You've got a helmet on a helmet. You've got a two-on-one working to the linebacker. You've got Gibson pulling around. You hope that Robinson takes care of, uh, of the middle linebacker, and Gibson can come for whatever color flashes. If it's an end, if it's that backer, if the safety loops in, he's your safety valve and your extra guy. So that's how it's drawn up, and it looks like you should have pretty decent numbers. As it turns out, let me show you how disgusting and sick this guy really was on this play. So as it turns out, they do, as I said, bring Obamanu across. He does a good job, counts for his guy. These two do an okay job. Carlson gets blown back. Uh, Okung somewhat so as well. It tightens down the edge as Carlson is fighting and fighting and fighting. This was really the problematic area. Columbus and Spencer have that two-on-one on, on the one technique pushing to the weak side linebacker. Well, neither of those guys get off on the linebacker at all. They get decent push on the D-tackle, and they work him laterally. Your fullback, Michael Robinson, gets an excellent block on the Mike linebacker, but you see Shanley, the weak side linebacker, senses it. He, when he sees the pulling guard, he fills the gap. He actually gets to the hole well before Gibson does. In fact, you go look at the play, and Gibson never even gets to the point of attack because he's knocked off by the penetration of Carlson. So he's dead. He gives you nothing. These two get blown in the backfield. Really, the only strong block was at the point Robinson does a nice job on the Mike linebacker. These two do an okay job of moving the tackle laterally. But Scott Shanley, my friends, is one yard, one yard from the line of scrimmage, steering Marshawn Lynch nose to nose, face mask to face mask. You can't do it any better than Shanley did seeing the play develop, the penetration and knock off the guard, the guy that's supposed to account for him, and he has it dead to rights. There is no way this play on paper should develop and happen as you see it unfold. Well, our good friend Marshawn not only blows up Shanley, okay, his second defender was this tackle, okay, this tackle who Gibson obviously pulls the counselor. He comes as well, likewise, almost just as free. These two hit Marshawn Lynch a yard and a half from the line of scrimmage. The third guy, well, that was the two-on-one, the D-tackle that peeled off. All of this mess happens in this three-yard window here with three guys in essence there to make the tackle. They don't. The rest is history. Sharper, you're dead.
Uh, yeah, we saw you get thrown 18 feet, you're dead, and then the cavalry ran down. I'll tell you what, you watch it in the X's and O's of what it should have been in a helmet on a helmet, and then what it turned out to be in the effort of number 24, you appreciate that much more when you see really the job he did almost by himself on that play.